This week I'm going to learn how to speed read. For 2021, I set a goal of reading at least one book per week. There's a ton of books that I want to read all the way through, but having a busy schedule makes it hard to sit down and dedicate time to actually finishing a book. It can take days or even up to weeks just to finish one book. While researching how I could read more books in a shorter amount of time, I discovered speed reading. Speed reading is using certain techniques to improve your ability to read quickly. Being able to speed read enables you to read much faster and it's gonna help you read through a lot more books. Some speed readers can finish an entire book in just one hour. The average reading speed is around 200 to 300 words per minute, with the top 1% having a reading speed of over 400 words per minute. Some claim that if you use speed reading, you can get your reading speed up to 1500 words per minute. So how does it work? When you're reading, you're moving your eyes horizontally and reading every word that's on the page. You don't read in a straight line, but rather a sequence of jumps. Your eyes are jumping from one spot to another, taking temporary snapshots of the text within your focus area. If you close one eye and place a fingertip on top of that eyelid, then slowly scan a horizontal line with your other eye, you will feel these jumps. And after reading a sentence, your brain goes over what you just read to process the meaning. So the concept of speed reading is to speed up this process by at least five times. Now that we know what speed reading is, it's time to start practicing. I started off by checking what my current reading speed was. You can use an online source to check your speed or you can do it yourself. If you want to do it yourself, you need to take a book and count the number of words that are in five lines. Divide this number by 5 and that gives you your average number of words per line. Now count the number of text lines that are on 5 pages. Now you need to count the number of lines that are in 5 pages. and then divide that number by five to get your average number of lines per page. Multiply this number by your words per line to get your average number of words per page. Now set up a timer for one minute and begin reading at your normal pace. Once the timer is up, multiply the number of lines by your average words per line to get your current words per minute rate. I ended up getting 252 words per minute and I want to see if I can increase this number to above 400 words per minute. The biggest reason our reading speeds aren't that fast is because of sub-vocalization. It's that voice in your head you use when you're reading. A lot of people, without even realizing that they're doing this, tend to imagine speaking the words that they're reading. This can help you remember concepts, but it also has a negative effect on your reading speed. People's average speaking speeds are 100 to 160 words per minute. So if you're saying every word you read in your head, your reading speed's gonna suffer. If you want to be able to read faster, you're gonna have to start seeing the words instead of hearing them. One way to stop sub-vocalizing is to focus on blocks of words rather than individual ones. Relax your face and soften your gaze on the page so that you stop looking at each word individually. After practicing this, I noticed that my eyes were moving across the page a lot faster. Listening to classical music or instrumental music can help to mute your inner voice while you read. The next technique is to use a pen and underline each line that you're reading. This is going to help you maintain a consistent speed and decrease the time you spend looking at a word. I practice this by setting a timer and reading for 2 minutes. You should be taking a maximum of 1 second to read each line. Now repeat the same technique for 3 minutes but this time reading 2 lines for a single second. Doing this technique it was hard for me to comprehend what I just read but that's okay because right now we're just conditioning our reflexes and working on increasing our reading speed. The next technique is increasing our peripheral field. Right now if you looked at the center of your computer screen, you can still register what's on the sides of your screen. Training your peripheral vision can increase your reading speed by 300%. 
Most readers use half of their peripheral field on margins moving from the first word to the last, spending half your time reading margins that don't have any content. So let's take this line for example. Even though it rained a lot, we still enjoyed the holiday. If you began reading from rained and finished the line at enjoyed, you would eliminate 5 out of 11 words, almost doubling your reading speed. Following this, I set a timer for one minute and began reading one word in from the first word of each line and ending one word in from the last word of the line. I set up another timer for one minute, but this time skipping two words instead of one. Finally, I set a timer for 3 minutes and skipped 3 words in from the start and end of each line. After learning and practicing all these techniques, I tested myself again to see if my reading speed increased. At the end of the test, I came out with a reading speed of 744 words per minute. That's almost a 100% increase from my previous result of 252. With a rate of 250 words per minute, it would take me 69 hours to finish reading through the entire Harry Potter series. But with a rate of 744 words per minute, it would only take me 23 hours to read through the entire series. I'm saving myself 46 hours, which I can spend reading through another series. I can read through the entire Harry Potter series three times before I even finish reading it once at a speed of 250 words per minute. Speed reading might feel weird at the start, but you have to keep practicing if you want to get good at it. The more you train yourself, the more natural it's going to feel. There's also many benefits that come with being able to speed read. It can save you a lot of time, it's been proven to improve your memory, and it can also improve your focus as well. Your brain is a muscle, and speed reading is just an exercise that can improve your brain's performance. I'm going to use what I've learned and practice reading every single day, and try my best to reach my goal of reading one book per week. I'm going to be posting updates about the books that I'm reading on my Instagram so you guys can follow me there and also if you guys want to suggest any books that I should read, you can go ahead and send me a DM. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and I'll see you guys next week.